Now we're on page 63 of your Cardiac Dysrhythmia Interpretation Workbook and I'm going to talk about atrial fibrillation. Interesting rhythm. It's the most common dysrhythmia in the elderly population, so uh, you'll see a lot of patients with, with um, atrial fibrillation. In atrial fib, the heart rate will vary, and um, when a patient has a new onset atrial fibrillation, typically the heart rate is fast uh, because the cause of atrial fibrillation is multiple ectopic foci in the atria, and they bombard the AV node, and a number of those impulses get through to the ventricles, and consequently, with new onset, um, heart rates are fast, and sometimes they're very fast and need to be treated uh, on an urgent basis. Um, but if the patient's um, had atrial fibrillation for a while and it's been diagnosed and they're being treated, they're probably receiving medication, perhaps digoxin, that will control the heart rate. And if the heart rate's below 100, they call that a controlled atrial fib. So the heart rate varies. And uh, P waves are absent. And what you may see in, in the place of P waves are uh, an uneven fibrillatory baseline or a flat line. And I wouldn't use um, the baseline. You can see here's very uneven baseline. I would not use this as the basis for making your interpretation of atrial fibrillation because this can just as easily be muscle artifact from the patient moving or shivering. So fibrillatory waves are really non-diagnostic. Um, the peer interval is not applicable in an atrial fibrillation. QRS complex is usually narrow. Ratio is not applicable if we don't have P waves. And the hallmark of atrial fib, and this is where the diagnosis is made, the hallmark of atrial fibrillation is that it's irregularly irregular. So when you see a rhythm that's irregularly irregular without clearly discernible P waves anywhere, you're probably dealing with an atrial fibrillation. And remember the age category. So typically AFib we see in the elderly population, although sometimes you'll see it with um, you know, severe alcohol intoxication. They call it holiday heart. Um, and you'll see it sometimes in young people with underlying um, you know, cardiac infections, myocarditis or pericarditis, those kinds of things as well. And um, so in atrial fib, what's happening is there are multiple ectopic foci. Remember we talked about reentry earlier when I talked about uh, PSVT. Well, reentry is the most common mechanism behind the ectopic foci, these multiple ectopic foci in the atria. And there's so many ectopic foci. And when, when one of these um, impulses uh, sends off a wave of depolarization and encounters another one, the two waves of depolarization cancel one another out. And because there are hundreds of these ectopic foci in the atria, in the atria rather, the atria becoming, become a quivering mass of myocardium. So there's no atrial contractility. And um, the only reason we have uh, sustained cardiac output is because you'll recall that when blood returns to the heart via the inferior superior vena cava and via the uh, pulmonary veins, that uh, the ventricles uh, the, or the AV valves are open and the uh, blood moves from the atria to the ventricles passively until the ventricles achieve about 70% of their content, their volume, and, and then the atria contract. So, you know, you might ask yourself, well, is cardiac output reduced by 30% then? And the, the answer is no, actually. Cardiac output in generally is reduced by maybe only 15% because although the stroke volume may be reduced and we lose that atrial kick or that atrial contractility, um, typically the heart rate's a little bit faster as well, and that compensates because cardiac output is a function of heart rate times stroke volume, right? So the hallmark of atrial fib is that it's an irregular, irregular rhythm. And whether, uh, we'll go back to the previous slide here, whether you're dealing with a narrow Q QRS complex, as we see here, or a wide QRS complex, if the rhythm is irregularly irregular and we don't see discernible P waves, we're likely dealing with an atrial fibrillation. 